All right, I am starting to reach a stage here where I would almost consider my packing and tinkering complete because I keep obsessing over minute details which don't quite matter. So let's have a look at what we've got. So I've got the gas burner, of course, uh, got a brand new bottle for it, so this is a telefall. Uh, not going to be having to store anything on that, which is very nice. I can fit a bottle of water behind there, casserole for well, casserole pot for putting food into, and all lid for that fits very nicely on this trap, which is anchoring uh, this uh, bottle to the floor. There's a mounting point behind it, so it's actually tied down to the floor. And this bungee cord is uh, just adding a bit of extra support and acts as a main for the pot. Uh, the table has been somewhat uh, fixed up. Uh, I was intending to put some kind of covering on it to protect it. Uh, gonna do that more properly sometime in the future, but for the time being I just cut up one of those fancy shopping bags you get at uh, pretty much any store and uh, staple that onto it uh, very slightly, just three in each. And then this is just gonna give it a bit more of a water resistant surface. Ugh. That is so satisfying. And uh, we've got my IKEA lamp, all normal. You turn that on on the uh, controller, speakers mounted. And here we've got, uh, uh, this is my uh, cutlery, like uh, plates, cups. I've got uh, uh, one bowl, one plate, uh, one of each uh, piece of cutlery. Uh, I've got one like thermos cup, which I can bring into the cab, which is lying there. And uh, that's pretty much it, uh, really. Down there I've got my uh, washing up soap and uh, coffee pot. There. I'm going to buy some more soap to put down there before washing myself. And in here we've got my uh, porridge, breakfast, some chocolate, toothbrush, another cup, ketchup all in the back there. This is going to fill up as time goes on and I'll figure out good stuff to put there. It's mostly empty. And fire extinguisher, of course. Down there is my food store, uh, mostly canned stuff and dried stuff. I don't have a fridge this time round, do not need it. So on this side we've got water, uh, probably going to move uh, one of these like to the back at some stage because I'm going to be lazy, uh, but I need to buy another couple of bottles of water. Uh, and uh, behind that we've got the tools, my drill and stuff behind my socket set in the front. Uh, this is uh, bed sheets and an extra thermal blanket. The big bag there is all clothing. I've got pretty much four to seven sets of everything to last me the three to four weeks I'm going to be gone. And that bowl over there has a first aid kit and uh, just random bits and bobs which don't really fit anywhere. It's screwed down to the battery mount so it's not going anywhere. And there's nothing. And there. All the way over back we've got uh, 10 litres of diesel in case I'm about to run out and mounting on top of that uh, uh, drawer there we've got uh, my server which I am going to fit to 2 terabyte hard drives too to provide me with entertainment and editing space. Well, that's about it for that side. Driver seat, well nothing going on in the front, nothing at all. And so here we've got my toolboxes, uh, this is like normal mechanical tools and in the nerd box down there I've shoved in like a soldering station, some electronics -y goodness and just random more advanced to troubleshooting bits and bobs I might need if I run into some more weird issue. Everything trying to avoid having to call in external help, help if something goes wrong. I've of course got like a multimeter and stuff as well. So in the drawers here we've got, uh, uh, this is like a couple of cameras, DSLR, cheaper camcorder, this is a uh, music player, game controller if I get bored. Uh, this is like the uh, camera box where I've got batteries, charges, leads, what have you. Got a couple of spare SD cards in my uh, bag as well. Uh, has just a couple more techie leads. And charge controller, of course, with all the switches for everything. I've got this little red basket here for like it charges and uh, stuff I'm going to use a bit more frequently, like my phone charger. That sits in there. 
And <laughs> that's pretty much it. There isn't a lot of space in here, but I am starting to feel rather happy with it. It's way more spacious and airy inside than it was last year. It just feels so much less cramped now that I'm setting off. And uh, these speakers are going to be very nice since I won't be banging my head on that one anymore. That was such a bother last year. Oh yeah, and I've got a curtain. This is uh, a bit improvement. I've just taken some random fabric and put on there. This is an old copper pipe, which is just zip tied onto this mount there. But uh, it serves its purpose. It will let a fair amount of light through, but it's mostly for privacy concerns. Last year I just had a washing washing up cloth hanging there because I forgot to make any proper curtain at all. And some hooks to hang stuff fits well on there. It is very nice to just be able to open that up and have a look at whatever's outside in the morning. So yeah, that's it. I'm hopefully going to have time to edit all this last footage together. Like tomorrow, because the day after tomorrow I'm going. Oh yeah, my Norwegian flag's gotten fucked by sunshine. Curiously, the Norwegian flag's the only one which has gotten fucked, so Norway gets better at making stickers. And of course the lovely insulation, I'm going to have so much joy out of that and I'm probably going to upset p some people driving behind me since my windows aren't matched the different well there we go well, that's a van for 2017 I'm going to be spending two to four weeks on the road in that perhaps a bit more once I get home as well just for the fun of it if it's Decent enough weather, and I'll be seeing you on the road. Cheerio.